Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Govinsky's Tutorials. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough and review of Revolve by Clave Grand. So this is an absolutely beautiful looking and sounding convolution reverb. So you've got um, six, you've got like um, 72, I think, different spaces that were recorded here. So this sound designer called Oscar Björk went around Sweden to all these different locations, mainly famous ones, and recorded these. Now, if you press on the image of a space, you can go in and you'll then see it in color. So this is the actual space. And here you get some information about the space. And here you have a little EQ section. So you have two filters and you've got five different filter types. You um, drag here to adjust your gain and frequency and stuff. And here you can adjust the Q. Now here, sometimes you can click and you'll get different mic placement options. And sometimes you can switch between different microphone types. And that can make a very big difference. You can adjust the width, and so you can bring it down to mono. Or you can reverse the left and right side by dragging it down to the minus numbers. You've got the mix knob here, the same one that you've got in the center of the main screen. You can lock the mix amount so that when you go through presets, it won't change. You've got a gain control, decay, this is half the decay you can go down to, and you can go up to double the decay of the, of the original recording. And you have pre-delay of up to 200 milliseconds. So let's just go through a few of these, and I'm going to let you hear them on different types of input. This one sounds really good. So we'll hear it in a minute on spoken word and also on harp, a piano tech harp. Spoken word is a great choice for reverb. Let's just switch over to spoken word. So it's just so easy is taken from to quickly hear the character of the reverb. Sometimes um, people start fights around our way, we get frightened. So this is old public domain interview. Sometimes people talk about your mother and everything. Like when somebody's mother is sick, we'd be on the front porch, and somebody start hollering and everything, we tell them. So, you know, we're so good at picking up the nuances of vocals. It can be fun to um, just like guess before you move to the next space what it's going to sound like. Yeah, sometimes we play old lady witch. See, one person has to be a witch, and you have to get uh, far apart from them. And, um, and then it got to be a lot of uh, children that go playing around and messing with it and stuff. And if you come into a castle, and um, the children have to say, um, what time is it? And, uh, so it's really worth playing with the keep on saying, different uh, mics. At Twelve o'clock, and when uh, you get to um, when I say, "What time is it?" and the old lady witch say, "Midnight," then uh, the witch start running after, and if you catch him, and if the witch catch catch him, uh, you gotta be the witch. How do you pick the first witch? Well, sometimes you put your feet in, put your feet all around in a circle, and then you. You say some kind of words or something like that, and 
and the person to get picked out gotta be the witch. What kind of words do you say? Mm, or any meaning money more and stuff like that. Tell me any meaning money more. Any meaning mm. money more, catch a pickle by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Any meaning That's a nice one, isn't it, for this? Oh, uh, my mother told me to pick this one right over here, but I turned around and picked this one right over here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> okay, is there another game? I like this one. One kid's, one kid's, uh, have to, well, I mean, a bunch of kids had it, and one kid got five. Yeah, that's how it goes, see? Mm -hmm. Um... That one's beautiful. Put your feet in. A lot of people put your feet in. And then you can say, any mini mama, or my mother told me to pick this one. You can say any one of them and the, uh, the last person to uh, get out got to be the one that got to find you. And you, um, and you count to 10 or count to anything you want and tell the people. And uh, the person that's it. Lovely, lovely. Bathroom. So um, let's just go in. You can turn off the animations off here as well if you want. Again, you've got a mix lock button here. And I do really wish that, um, you know, you didn't have to have this whole thing open to browse the presets. It'd be great if there was just a little arrow preset browser right up here. So let's try, um, say, some of these large halls. Um, other the instruments ones have a bit of variation between them I notice um Using the preset browser, I get DSP spikes, but I don't get that when I just use the wheel. So you get the idea. Um, beautiful and beautiful looking and I feel not just eye candy either because um, I mean this is genuinely a very nice way to navigate between different impulse responses any other app I've used you know you're just browsing through lists and this you know you can um, just go through odd and ethereal and you know, if I if I see the, uh, as soon as I saw this space, I thought, oh yeah, okay, I think uh, that'll sound great. So um, yeah, beautiful app, beautiful. All right, everyone, I hope you find this useful, and I'll see you in the next video.
Take care.